Alright, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox and this week I'm going to show you how you can quickly clean up some deformation that's happening when it comes to a rigged character without being a pro at rigging or paint weighting or anything of that nature. A lot of times I just have 3D models. I'm skilled in that area. I'm not super skilled in rigging and paint weighting. So my buddy over at Run Kick Shout, Nick Hopkins, gave me a couple tips and tricks when it comes to paint weighting that I feel like could work in your workflow if you're like myself and just really want to clean up stuff fast and aren't going to spend hours and hours creating a perfect rig. So if you're interested in how to fix these deformations, let's hop right in. Okay, so this is again out of a problem of I wanted to make a little promo for our Body Basics pack, which will be coming out sometime in the next week, depending on when I post this. It's 10 really nicely modeled character models of different body types and styles. Um, it'll get you where you're going really fast. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for it. But I have my nice geometry here. It, for the most part, worked seamlessly when I threw it into Mixamo, which is, if you're not familiar, it's a website, Mixamo.com. Adobe now owns it. It's actually part of Maxon, I believe now, or there's an integration. But I just use the website. You can pick and choose mocap animations to apply to an existing character or upload your own and then download that. So that's what I've done here. But as you saw, there's kind of some deformation happening in the armpits I'm not super happy with. I have my geometry here. When you download something from Mixamo, it applies it in takes. So there's the main take and then there's the Mixamo take. So if I go over to the Mixamo take, you'll see there's a lot of animation. This is where all my animation is going on. And you can see there's the deformation happening. I've already fixed up the right hand side pretty well but I need to still fix up this left-hand side over here. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go outside to my main take, so there's no motion happening, but you'll see there still is keyframes. And so what I've done here is I went through kind of my skeleton rig and I found the joint in relation to um, what I feel is deforming. So you can see there's kind of a pocket under his armpit that's deforming weirdly. And I'm gonna grab that joint here And then I'm going to do a couple animations, just temporary animations on the rotation. So I'm gonna add a keyframe. I want one there. I'm gonna go over kind of to where I keyframed this arm, do a similar motion there. Wanna push it down. The keyframes. Gonna go over here. push it forward, and once again, keyframe. And so what this does that's really nice is it sets up some of these base movements where the body's going to deform that you'll need to fix. So if I go down here to this keyframe and zoom in, you can see there's all these sharp pieces, it's punching in super hard, versus over here on this side, I've smoothed it out, I've fixed it a little bit. It's still a little crunchy right there. I might go back and fix this up further after the tutorial. But overall, this gets you kind of a couple keyframes that you can check the deformation at. Because if I were to just start fixing it based on this T pose or just one of these keyframes, I might be missing that it's deforming really hard in another area. So what I've done is I've set up my timeline. So I have these keyframes I can run through, know where they're at. I have my weight manager, which is a really important part of this, which you can find up in character manager, weight manager. I've just pinned it down here. And then the tool we're going to be using is also in character and it's called the weight tool. And the weight tool is just a paintbrush. Um, but what my buddy showed me that I did not really fully realize, each of these areas of mesh should be influenced up to 100% collectively by the joints in the body. And so what that means is I'm gonna go up to add. And if I were to do 100%, I have this joint, this shoulder joint selected, Let's say I start having the body, the center of the body for some reason be affected by this joint. If I have this set at 100%, it's just pure pink and it immediately creates an extreme distortion going on here because 100% of this geometry is now driven by this joint. So any other joint in this body that this center of the body was driven by before is now gone. You just blew it out of the water. So what best practice is, is in my weight tool, I'm going to set this to about like 8%, right? And your instinct is to kind of click and drag around like this. 
what's good to do is just to start clicking around. So you can kind of see it's adding to it, but it's not, it's only adding 8% at a time. And then if I hold shift, I can drag around and kind of smooth it back out. And holding shift basically smooths, it's the same thing as going down to smooth here. Um, but it basically kind of interpolates between the different paint weights. So if I go up to the full body, you can see there's these different colors of paint weights affected by different joints. And so there I'm just kind of blending these two colors together. So I'm gonna go back down to this. I'm gonna select the upper portion, which is this shoulder piece that I'm actually looking for, which I believe is actually creating most of the problem. So here it doesn't look too bad. You'll notice kind of some crunchy bits down here. I might hold shift, start smoothing some of this out a little bit more. But mainly what I want to do is if I go over to this middle keyframe we set, that's where you really start to see this deformation happening that we don't really like. And so I'm going to start adding this geometry to be more so driven by, I believe it's this joint right up here, right there, versus this far shoulder joint that was pulling it and causing that deformation. So I'm just gonna kinda add some points here and there, and then every once in a while I'm gonna hold shift, I'm gonna smooth it back out so you don't get too crazy crunchy, like in here. But even in here, I need to add some of this because that's kind of what's creating that giant indent. Yeah, that was a big piece. So just doing this, put on some music. It's kind of relaxing in a way. And it's not gonna be perfect, but you're gonna get this pretty close. I go on the inside here. Let's have these pieces. There we go. This is feeling all right. Again, um, you don't need it to be perfect for this, but you're trying to do your best you possibly can. I'm gonna go in and start smoothing it out a little bit more. This is kind of having a bunch of trouble right in here. Okay, but you get the gist there. So as you can see, it's a little crunchy. I probably need to smooth it a little bit more and actually go into this other joint, do some smoothing as well. Right, so I'm kind of blending this purple color by holding shift. This is a little problem area here, obviously, which is really frustrating. There we go, smoothed it out. This guy. Okay, that is looking better. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So now, as you can see, see I think I did a better job over here than I even did over here. And so now what you can see is if I go back and I animate this, you get that correct deformation and it doesn't look as kind of crazy. I might stop in the middle here and get in a little further, start smoothing some stuff out, start adding to it, etc. So same, same game we were just doing. Um, and it's a slow process, but once you get the hang of it, this solves a lot of your problems and can get you really far without having to know completely how to crazy paint weight something from the ground up. Um, so yeah, now I have my motion going on here. It's looking pretty good. And now if I go back to, in my take to my Mixamo take, I can play this and I'll see a little bit of this kind of joint pushing in here. So that's where I would probably smooth that out. And it's nice to keep kind of the highlight going on on this joint while the animation's running. So you can really see if there's other problem areas going on. 
So I think I need to make sure the chest isn't being as affected by this shoulder joint. So tailor some of that back. But overall, the deformation is fixed quite a bit. Now, the one other thing I wanna show you other than paint weighting is if I go back to my main take, go to my objects, go up to my geometry, right under skin, I'm going to go and select a deformer called a Delta Mush. And I'm gonna pop that under skin and kind of watch the geometry here. It just smooths everything out ever so slightly. And in a, what a Delta Mush does is it kind of looks between all the points and tries to interpolate between them a little better. So it fixes a lot of pinching problems that might be not that great. So you can see it's kind of trying to even stuff out, trying to make it a little better. I really only mess with strength. Iteration starts like destroying the geometry, even though it looks good here. Like the second I start playing this after I've pumped it up to like 200, you'll probably see the thing tearing a bunch of spots. Yeah, like the back is tearing quite a bit. So I generally just leave this Delta Mush. Oh, and you'll notice all of these settings are grayed out if I'm in the wrong take. So I'm gonna go back to my main take Go to my Delta Mush, pop this back down to whatever it was, set to 10 by default. Keep it at 100. Now I'm gonna go back to my main Mixmo take and hit play. And I still have that pinching, but over here I, have a, I did a better job actually, I think. I think I did too much kind of geometry added to that top shoulder part. But I fixed this right side pretty well with this same technique. So yeah, I just wanted to show you those quick tips on how you can use paint weighting um, to fix up some geometry and animation on your 3D model without being a master of paint weighting and rigging. So hope that helps. Be on the lookout for the Body Basics pack. It's coming out. I think it's going to be super helpful to get you know your character started from a certain body shape you're interested in with super nice geometry, and you can build on top of them. Um, and yeah, if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help me out a ton. I'm going to keep putting videos out. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. All right, I'll see you next time.